All right. Hey, good morning. Good to see you, Bridge family. Uh, awesome to gather with you once again. Um, it is uh, it's good. It's good to be here. Good to worship with you. Um, I was out last week and uh, always good to return home and to, to gather for worship. So um, you may have noticed that we have... Uh, that we shared a lot in music. We worshiped a lot um, through praise and worship this morning. That's intentional, that's on purpose uh, with Marcus. Marcus is uh, one of our young adults and uh, um, is one, of, one, one who we believe God has called to lead us in worship. And uh, we, uh, we, we're also going to do a worship night, um, and it's coming up on November 11. And I want to encourage you to come to that. We, is, we especially set aside this Sabbath, and there may, I don't know if we're going to get another one in before the 11th, but uh, we set kind of this Sabbath aside to give you a little bit of a taste of what happens at worship night. So I want to encourage you to come and be a part of that and to gather with us, and uh, it's really, really a special time. So um, I, I knew that today was going to be very interesting, and um, I, I kind of had an idea that I wouldn't have a whole lot of time to preach. So uh, I'm actually going to, I'm going to kind of shelve the message and just kind of, kind of go with whatever today, <laughs> because uh, today's a little bit, a little bit of a, a different deal. Um, so... Um, we, uh, my family and I have kind of been on a bit of a, a journey, uh, especially over the last few weeks, as uh, I have, uh, I received an opportunity to go and serve with a, uh, with a great organization um, called World Vision, and uh, they offered me a, an opportunity to come serve with them, and I accepted, and uh, so we are, uh, we've got about four Sabbaths left with you. And uh, today is, uh, this, this was going to be really tough because we knew we were going to have to tell you guys that we're not going to be hanging around much longer with you. Um, the cool thing is we actually will be staying in the area and uh, my job and my role will allow me to work from home and I'll do a little bit of traveling out from here, but I will be, uh, I will be, uh, I will be serving with uh, World Vision. And uh, it's kind of a Kind of a tough day in that I will not um, specifically be functioning in the role of a pastor over a church or in a church setting. I'll be working directly with churches and pastors, which I love, which is really, really, really cool. But I won't be standing up in front of folks and sharing the word. Um, so that's, uh, that's kind of tough. Um, but I just got to tell you that it's been... I'm going to need that box. <laughs> It's been a, a real, um, I just got the whole box, yeah. <laughs> it's been a real gift uh, to, uh, to share with you guys the last few years and uh, the whole team that we've put together and the way that we've tried to minister to you has been very meaningful. Um, I'm going to bring my wife up, I know, see she was already crying before so I knew I wasn't going to get through this. Pastor Jeff, come on up. Um, but just really from the bottom of my heart to all of you guys, it's been a real gift and a privilege to serve you. And I, I pray that in some way our ministry has been meaningful to you. And uh, we've, we've attempted to kind of serve and love you as best we could. <laughs> and, uh, but you guys, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. We've still got, I think, three or four, four or five Sabbaths left. Uh, our last Sabbath will be the Sabbath after Thanksgiving, and uh, that'll be our last time with you. So I'm actually going to preach some more, I promise. Um, but uh, today I knew I wouldn't be able to get through it anyway, so I just said, okay, whatever. Uh, I don't know, Pastor Jeff, if you want to say anything, but that's, that's what's coming down, that's what's happening. Uh, great, greater things are ahead for you, I'm, I promise you that. Uh, you got a great team of pastors here, you got great... Uh, volunteer leaders that help lead the bridge, uh, Marlene and Alyssa and the whole crew, um, they're going to they're gonna be around, and uh, Brooklyn will still be engaged, uh, and uh, you'll likely see my family, um, but you may not see me as often, so, uh, but it's been good. Thank you, guys. All right, so first of all... <laughs> Secondly, we can, 
in some ways, this is easier than most times when this happens, and it happens because uh, the Lord brings people into our lives for seasons and then brings them into other people's lives for seasons and brings other voices that we need to hear, and we trust His leading in that. So we trust Him in that even when our, our hearts uh, rebel against it. Uh, we believe that the, what the Lord reveals over time is the best for us. But the third reason that we can stand it is he's not actually leaving the area. And so every now and then we can grab him and drag him back here and have him preach again. So I'm really happy about that because I like it when there are speakers uh, of high quality and you all have been blessed uh, to be the primary service that's heard Pastor Bernie uh, for this time. Um, So you're not relieved. You were not off duty. Brooklyn, you are still a part of this and Taylor. And, 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 and Alyssa and Marlene and Summer, who's not here to be pointed at right now. That's right. And uh, once this guy gets out of the way, we'll make some plans. We'll really get something done, That's right? right? All right. Amen. So that'll be right awesome. All right. We're looking forward to that. Um, but we're glad that they're still going to be a part of our community and part of what's going on. Now, now, now Pastor Bernie's moving into a specialty role, and, and somebody might be tempted to think, well, he's... He's, he's left ministry. Don't, don't let your mind think that at all, um, because what he's doing is moving into a role and working with an organization that brings relief uh, in the world. And, and if, if you know Bernie at all, you've seen him excel at projects like that, and he's brought those kinds of things to this church in a very powerful way, and it's been a blessing here. And just between us, don't tell him, but we're still hoping to use him for some of the projects we do around here. So uh, we'll bring that up later on and negotiate the details. But um, so, so here's the deal. He's working for, for going to go work for World Vision, which is not technically an Adventist organization, but it is a Christian organization. And here's the thing I want us to understand in our minds. Sometimes we think as Adventists that every organization is a proselytizing organization and therefore to work with any other group is somehow contrary to our core purpose as an Adventist church because we put a high standard, as you know, on proselytizing, teaching truth, those kinds of things. Don't let your mind get caught in that trap because, first of all, World Vision is more a relief organization than, than narrowly a proselytizing organization, even though it brings the name of Jesus to the world, and we're for that. We want the name of Jesus and and gracious acts in the name of Jesus to go forth. Secondly, uh, it's about time, I think, that there were more quality Seventh-day Adventists highly placed in other organizations that are doing good around the world. Rather than us always being in our own little shell, maybe it's time for us to get a little more out of it and start participating in other places. I think of guys like uh, Chaplain Barry Black, who's the uh, chaplain of the U.S. Senate, who, by the way, is actually going to be here at our church in February, so look forward to that. Um, But uh, who who got to play that role as a Seventh-day Adventist and get outside of the circle we're normally in and bring some of the blessing that we as a people can bring in other places. I see Bernie is doing that. Uh, This is a a missionary endeavor in every way. And... uh, uh, it was an, he told me a little bit it was interesting when they were talking back and forth. They weren't sure what it was going to be like to have an Adventist on the team, but they're going to be thrilled to have an Adventist on the team, and he's going to make a difference for that team. So, so tough for us all, and uh, we'll be looking in the days ahead to see how the Lord leads um, and, and which direction he uh, wants this church to move, um, but uh, you're not allowed to miss uh, yeah, and, and neither are any of you all. And we've been blessed to have Pastor Bernie here uh, as a part of this church. Now, you might think, well, you haven't been here that long. That's actually not true. You've been here five years, five years. haven't you? It's actually been uh, longer. Uh, this church is a little skewed because people tend to stay a really long time, but it's actually longer than most churches can expect uh, to have an associate of his caliber uh, in, in a role like this. So we've been blessed. Thank you. Thank you. And blessings on you. So let, let's say a thank prayer. You. Thank you. Father in heaven, I thank you for the amazing work that Pastor Bernie has done in this place and in this congregation, and for the work his family has done, and I'm thankful that that part will continue. But Lord, we pray that your spirit will go with Pastor Bernie and will, will make him a blessing 
and that you will use the gifts he's given him in this, uh, in this new endeavor, and that he will follow you, and you will show him where to go, and one day you may lead him back into a pastoral role. It wouldn't surprise me at all, but this is the calling for this season. So, Lord, give him confidence in it, and give us confidence to support him and, uh, and appreciate what he's given us, and be excited anytime he comes back around. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, guys. You're on your own now. Yeah. <laughs>